All right, this is the key to uh, worksheet 12.1 part D. All right, so number one, uh, actually one through ten, you're going to use the quotient rule for the most part in all of these. Um, so the quotient rule. So remember the quotient rule indicates this. So the quotient rule stated that when you divide like bases, subtract exponents. All right, now in a previous lesson you learned about the product rule. And it said that when you multiply like bases, you add exponents. So that's the quotient rule. When you divide like bases, you subtract exponents. And then the product rule, when you um, multiply like bases, you add exponents. All right, so number one, and problem number one, you had x to the eighth divided by x. All right, so if you notice that um, here, my base is eight, my base is eight, the exponent is I'm, x, I'm sorry, my base is x, my base is, base is x, the exponent here is 8, the exponent here is 1. So when you divide like bases, you're going to subtract these exponents. But remember, it's always the, you keep the base, always keep the base. So the base is x. So be the exponent from the numerator, subtract the exponent from the denominator. And so x to the 8 subtract 1 is x to the 7. All right, so remember, you have 8 factors of x up here. You only have 1. So when 1, you can divide out one of those, and you're left with 7. So that's what that implies. All right, number two, you have y to the 12th divided by y to the 5th. All right, so y to the 12th, you, uh, the base is y. Over here, the base is y. So you're going to uh, subtract exponents because you're dividing like bases. So that's y to the 12th, subtract 5. Remember, it's always the exponent from the numerator, subtract the exponent from the denominator. Now, in all of these cases, the exponent you're going to end up with will be positive. So the exponent's negative, which will be a different lesson. You have to do an extra step. So then we get y to the uh, seventh power. So uh, so the answer to number one is x to the seventh. The answer to number two is y to the seventh. Number three, you have three to the fifth power divided by three to the third power. So again, you're dividing like bases. The base in both cases are, uh, is three. So it's going to be the base, rewrite it as the base, which is 3, raised to the fifth power, subtract 3, so that's 3 squared, or you can say 3 squared, which is just 9. All right, number 4, you have negative 5 to the 7th divided by negative 5 to the 5th. So again, the base here is negative 5. Since negative 5 is in parentheses, is in parentheses, that's your base. The base is negative 5. It's being raised to the seventh power here, and the denominator is being raised to the fifth. So remember, it's you always rewrite the base, which is negative five, in parentheses, raised to the seventh, subtract five. So that's negative five in parentheses, because that's your base, not five, but negative five squared. Or you can say negative five times negative five is a positive twenty-five. So that's answer number four. So number three, you have uh, three squared, or you can say nine. At number four, you have negative five squared, or you can say 25. Negative five squared or 25. <clears throat> okay, number five, you have x to the eighth times y to the fifth divided by x to the second times y to the second. Now, the way I would approach this, since you have multiple variables here, is I would, I would write a separate fractions with the like bases in one fraction, in each fraction. So meaning that you would have x to the eighth divided by x squared times y to the fifth divided by y squared. And then you just use the quotient rule on um, each of these. So you would have x, see so you're dividing like bases, so you say x to the eighth subtract two, y to the fifth subtract two. So the answer here would be x to the sixth power times y to the third power. So that's number five. <clears throat> so number five, the answer is x to the sixth times y to the third. 
All right, number six, you have um, a to the fifth, b to the fourth, divided by a, b cubed. So again, you rewrite this in separate fractions. So that's a to the fifth divided by a times b to the fourth divided by b cubed. So you divide like bases. You can subtract exponents. That's a to the fifth subtract one, b to the fourth subtract three. So that's a to the fourth times b. So that's answer number six. All right, number seven. You have 25x to the six divided by 5x squared. So again, now notice that the, um, here the coefficient is one, 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 one. But here it's 12, uh, 25 and five. So what I would do there is rewrite them just like we did before with separate fractions, but you say 25 divided by five times x to the six divided by x squared. And remember, only use the quotient rule with the variable part. So here, 25 divided by five, you know is just five. And so get x to the six, subtract two. So the answer is five x to the fourth power. So that's number seven, five x to the fourth power. Number eight, you have 20 x to the third, y to the fourth, divided by four x, y squared. So again, separate fractions. So 20 divided by four, those are your coefficients. And then let's do the like basis. So x cubed divided by x times y to the fourth divided by y squared. And then I'll use the quotient rule in the variable part. But here are the coefficients. You know that 20 divided by 4 is just 5. So you get x cubed subtract 1, y to the fourth subtract 2. And you divide like basis, subtract exponents. And so the answer then is 5x squared, y squared. So that's number 8, 5x squared, y squared. Okay, now number nine, number nine, you have number nine, you have six a to the seventh, b to the tenth, divided by twenty-four, a to the fourth, b to the sixth. Alright, so write them as separate fractions, so it's six divided by twenty-four times a to the seventh divided by a to the fourth times b to the tenth divided by b to the sixth. Now with these coefficients you can reduce, so six and six is one, six and twenty-four is four. So don't, it's not four, it's one fourth. So you get one fourth times a to the seventh subtract four, and you divide like base, subtract exponents, that's a quotient rule, times b to the tenth subtract six. So that's one fourth, a to the third, b to the fourth. Okay, or you can say, um, you can write this as one fraction if you want to, so you can say a to the third, b to the fourth, divided by four. As you see, this is one. One times a cubed and b to the fourth is this part here, and then divided by four, which is this part. So that's number nine. So you can say one fourth, a cubed, b to the fourth, or you can say a cubed, b to the fourth, divided by four. Those two are equivalent. All right, number 10. You have 20x cubed, y to the fourth, divided by 4xy squared. So again, write a separate fraction. So that's 20 divided by 4 times x cubed divided by x times y to the fourth divided by y squared. And so that's 20 divided by 4 is 5. And so again, when you um, divide like base, subtract exponents as a quotient rule. So that's 3 subtract 1, y to the fourth subtract 2. So you get 5x squared, y squared. Okay, so that takes care of worksheet D. So the answer is, um, oops, I'm sorry, I kind of, what's the trend? Oh, this was number eight again. Okay, so I made a mistake. So that was number eight. Here's number 10. Number 10, excuse me, you have 4x to the 11th, y to the 8th, divided by 28, x to the 7th, y. So again, write them as separate fractions. So you get 4 over 28, x to the 11 divided by x to the 7th, times y to the 8th divided by y. All right, now, again, we're going to reduce this. That's a 28. 4 into 4 is 1. 4 into 28 is uh, 7. So you get 1 7th 
times x to the 11 subtract 7, y to the 8 subtract 1, so that's 1 7, times x to the uh, 11 subtract 7 is 4, and then 8 subtract 1 is 7. Alright, or you can write it as x to the 4th, y to the 7th, divided by 7, just like we did in number 9. You can write as one fraction like this. Alright, so that's the answer number 10. 7 is 1 7th, x to the 4th, y to the 7th, or x to the 4th, y to the 7th, divided by 7. Alright, so that's the key to this worksheet.